G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab again, but this time with a mea culpa. And that's kind of Latin for my mistake. Well, a little bit of a mistake in the last uh, Tech Quickie number seven on battery labeling. Now, Energy Safety Victoria reached out to me with some clarification and corrections from their perspective. And after all, they are the regulator in Victoria. So if you're installing in Victoria, Australia, make sure you're aware of these points. Two main issues. One, regarding the display of the safety data sheet in the main switch forward. Now, even though in ASN ZS 5139 sections four, five, and six, it states that an electronic copy of documentation is acceptable, However, and this is the catch, in section 7.7, .7, it states that additionally, the SDS shall, it's mandatory, be included in a document holder at the main switchboard. Yep. Now, ESV have confirmed this with AFAC. Now, AFAC, that's the Australian, sorry, the Australasian Fire and Emergency Service Authorities Council. They basically look after safety associated with fire systems. They confirmed that a physical copy is required to be available. So. Section 7.7 .7 makes it additional to an electronic copy of documentation, a physical copy of the safety data sheet must be uh, provided at the main switchboard. Now the logic is that a QR code requires internet access. So if you don't have internet access, you can't resolve it. Also, it might not be readable and the URL might be out of date. So basically the QR code isn't a fail safe option. Now here's a note for battery manufacturers who are responsible for providing a safety data sheet for their products. It is required to have a contact number in Australia and be made of suitably durable material to prevent degradation in the storage location. So I suggest something like a laminated piece of paper <laughs> that's gonna go into a document holder that is suitably IP rated for the location that it's being installed. So if it's outside at the main switchboard, it's gonna to have to have a, a weatherproof rating. Number two, the toxic fume hazard warning sign is definitely a shell for lithium ion batteries and it's not mitigated by what's on the SCS. So it's definitely not, as I said, up to you. It's mandatory. Since table 3.1 in the standard has a tick for toxic hazard column for lithium ion batteries, it is a mandatory risk. Therefore, all lithium ion battery types are a toxic fume hazard and will require the danger toxic fumes sign in accordance with clause 7.9. Additionally, the PPE requirement sign will also be required, though this may be included on the toxic fume hazard sign. It's up to sign manufacturers to uh, make that call. Kind of makes sense if you have one, you must have the other. So yeah, they should be on the same sign, but they can be separate. So once again, a big shout out to Scott Beasley. He's the Renewable Energy Compliance Officer at Energy Safety Victoria uh, for watching my video and putting me straight on these issues. And remember, Scott will be presenting much greater detail on this subject at All Energy in Melbourne in October. Once again, thanks for watching. Keep safe. Check it.